Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Smart Study Point. Friends, in this video, I will tell you about theorem 10.8 of our class 9 NCRT book. Friends, this theorem is angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any part of the circle. The process given in the NCRT book is much longer, but the process which I will tell you will be much shorter and will be easy for you. So let's begin. Friends, first of all, we have to draw three circles in accordance to the question. Next, write given and write what is given here. In this question, write in given, write the full theorem and nothing else to be written. Only write the naming which you have given in the your figure. It's not necessary to write anything else. And now move to to proof. And what we have to prove here is we have to prove here that. Angle POQ is equal to two angle PAQ because what is the theorem? The same thing I will write here in two proof. Two proof and given are very much necessary. And now let's let's move to the proving. Now proof. In proof, I will write here that angle BOQ is equal to angle OAQ plus angle. AOQ because exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. This is a theorem which you know before. Friends, don't worry. I will explain you in the figure also. First, I will writing. First, I am only writing here. And in triangle A O in triangle AOQ or you can write OAQ. OA is equal to OQ. Now, friends, you see this figure carefully. I will make you understand everything. About this figure and about this theorem. Now you see here. In all the three figures, angle POB is equal to angle OPA plus angle OAP because exterior angle, exterior angle property. And now similarly, angle QOB is equal to angle OQA plus angle OAQ. This is. The in all the three figures, don't only mark one figure. It is in all the three figures. And now, OP is equal to OA is equal to OQ because they are the radius of the same circle, or you can write here radi of the same circle. As in triangle OPA, OP is equal to OA, so angle OPA must be equal to OAP. And similarly, in triangle OAQ also the same thing because. Angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are always equal. And now, what I have told you, I will only write that thing and nothing else to be written here. So, angle OAQ is equal to angle OAP, and because angles opposite to equal sides are always equal, I have told you in the figure. So, nothing else. Now, let's see the figure again to make you understand more perfectly. And now, what I will write here is. Angle BOQ is equal to angle OAQ. Mark it as one because OAQ is equal to OAP, so you can write a two angle. And similarly, in opposite, in the other triangle also, and mark it as two. And now, by adding one and two, what what I will get here is, you see here, angle BOQ plus angle BOP is equal to angle. O A Q plus angle O A P. You can see in the previous in the previous space what I have told. I have only added these two, and now as O A Q is equal to O A P, so two angle P A Q is equal to angle P O Q. And now I have told you in the previous also reflex angle. We will only replace the number three in the reflex angle. So friends, I hope that you like this video and thanks for watching.